Schwebeat. Hello everyone and welcome to another speed paint. This is not where you usually see me. That is because this week I will be drawing any character that I pull from Genshin Impact. Right now it's the Raiden banner as well as the Yoimiya banner, but I've been really excited about Raiden for a while. Ooh, Chevrus. I really loved her story uh, with Ayaka and everything. I even guessed who the killer was in it. Oh, and I got Bennett too! That's so exciting! I've been wanting Bennett a while too. Oh, anyway, I really want Raiden, so I'm going to try another ten pull. Oh, I got <laughs> Kujasara! Oh my gosh! <gasps> okay, let's see. <gasps> yes! Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited! But I've gotten four characters now for this little pull session. I definitely am going to be drawing her first, though. So let's go. Before I do the drawings, I just wanted to see her in the game. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, I can't believe I have her. Yay. Pretty excited that I have Chevrus. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love her. <laughs> I definitely want to draw her with all that food. <laughs> Yay! Well, that's all for the pulling session. I hope you also enjoy the, um, furnished part of my teapot. See you in Clip Studio Paint! So, before I actually get too far into this, I actually wanted to explain the slight change to how this video is going to be. At the beginning, I said, oh, I'll draw whoever I pull. But then, you know, I pulled everyone on the Raiden banner. And so, I only really had time to do two drawings for this video. So I picked the ones that I most wanted to draw, which was Raiden and Chevrus, which basically just means I just drew people that were on the Raiden banner, and I only pulled them. Probably should have been obvious to me. But anyway, because of this, I have decided that next time I do this, I'm going to pull on the standard banner, which means I have the capability of getting anyone on the roster. Of course, there's not always a guarantee to get a character, but most of the time it tends to happen. So I'm going to try to save those standard wishes for the next time that I do this so that it'll truly be random. But I hope you like the slight bend of the rules. I mean, if I had gotten a different character that wasn't on the banner, I would have considered them to draw as well. So not technically different from the premise, but still basically different because I did get the first two characters of Chevrus and Bennett, and I did only draw Raiden and Chevrus. Although the plan all along was to try to get Raiden, so I don't know, it's it's a big mess, but uh, you get the idea, I hope. It was still really fun to pull for everybody and still really fun to draw all this, so I hope you enjoy the video anyway. Anyway, first up we're drawing Raiden Shogun, or A. Really I would say that this is A that I'm drawing because, you know, this is her actually showing emotion, you know, drinking her dongo milk. <laughs> Of course I had to draw that. I love this character on a deeper level too, of course. Like, I love the tragedy of her and her sister, and all of her friends, and all that time, as well as her spending 500 years fighting herself. <laughs> that was just... Her story is so good and I love her so much. She's probably my favorite Archon, or at least she's very much in a tie with Zhongli. <laughs> Both characters are extremely good, but I was just really excited to draw her. Not only is her story sad and tragic, which hits my heartstrings in a certain way, but then once she, you know, is herself and is trying to go out into the world and experience how things have changed, she just became so adorable. <laughs> like, she just seems to be a character that was tailored in a way that kind of suits a lot of the things that I'm interested in. Like, I really love stoic characters, and she's like that when she's, you know, her robot-ish form. Then I also really love sort of like confused, uh, cute characters who are like, I don't know how to explain it, maybe not oblivious, but like, not caught up to the times, I guess. I find it really enjoyable to me, just everything about her character pretty much I really love. 
And also, I may or may not have cried on one of her, I think, story missions? Basically, the one where she was basically talking about how her sister, like, went out so that she wouldn't have to, to the war. That one really made me emotional. Her story beforehand already made me emotional, but her actually talking about it and her being like, I think she went so that I wouldn't have to, just really shattered my heart. I love her. Also, I really love how she looks. Like, she's one of my favorite character designs of the whole game, I would say. Her hair bangs are definitely my favorite style. But the braid that's like kind of loose is also extremely good to me. And then the rest of her general outfit is just really nice. I also love how strong she is and how intimidating she is. I would say her robot form, which is just herself in her, her general body look. It's just the fact that she's like just herself. She's not like making herself look scarier. She's just literally walking slowly in a circle, pretty much. And that, like, scared me so bad. Like, that's the fight where, you know, you first try to fight her. And her just slowly walking and just kind of holding her sword, like, walking from side to side, it's just so intimidating and so cool to me. <laughs> I love, like, silently intimidating characters like that. And then when she's back to her normal self and tries to go out in the world to experience things, of course the Dongo Milk thing, I loved. I love characters who love sweets. That's just really cute to me, especially ones that are generally stoic. And then her like reading a contemporary book and being confused and being like, this is real. The person who did bad things in this, we should go arrest them or something. I can't remember if like it's that sort of thing exactly, but it was along the lines of she took it so seriously. <laughs> and I just thought that was so funny. She's just really good. And I'm so excited that I have her in Genshin now. I've been trying to build her for the last week. I got her to level 76, I think before running out of the experience cards and stuff. And she's a really great addition to my team, personally. Because I also have Kamisato Ayaka. So basically, like, activating Raiden's, like, ability with the slashes that activate when any character hits, and then going to, you know, my strongest hitter, which is Ayaka. Just super convenient and really nice. <laughs> Love it. So that's Raiden done. Next, we're drawing Chevrus. You know, it's been a little bit since I drew these, but when I first pulled these characters, I really wasn't sure who all I was going to draw. I knew absolutely that I'd draw right in, but then I was like, okay, I have to choose one more character so that I can have two drawings for the video. And of course, the first character I actually ended up drawing in this whole pull session was Chevrus, which I was very excited about because, again, when I was playing through the story that she had with Ayaka when they were both, like, being actresses and stuff, and Chevrus was also, like, investigating a crime on the side, uh, spoilers ahead for the Chevrus mission, but... I did actually, like, guess who the killer was on her, like, investigation. And it was pretty early when I guessed it, too. And I actually told someone, I was like, I don't know, that girl, like, kind of knew how to put the gun together without much help. She really knew how to put a gun together. And Chevrus was impressed, like, oh, have you ever held a gun? <laughs> um, something like that. And I was like, hmm, that's a little suspicious. But then they, you know, misdirected with a different character. And I was like, ah, oh, snap. I should have not said anything to anyone about me being like, oh, it's that person because now I'm embarrassed because it's like not her. But then it got even further into the story mission. You know, the big climactic end with Chevrus being so freaking cool and like saying like, go to hell or something. I can't remember exactly what she said, but she was so cool and she like... Her doing all that and me being like, oh man, they caught everybody. And then the person who was like actually guilty of like the crimes stepping out of the shadows and like attempting to do something. I was like so shocked and like excited. I was like, oh my god, I, I guessed it. <laughs> it was so fun. Anyway, so I pulled her. I remember during the mission when you get to test her out, I didn't super understand her too much because like everything was happening so fast. I was like, oh, I guess she shoots a gun on this. And then, like, I barely noticed that she was a polearm user. So I didn't really know how she was going to play. But, you know, I had her and I went into the character thing and saw the her eating the snacks. And I was just, I don't know if you know this about me, but I, I love drawing food and I love drawing characters who enjoy food, like having their favorite foods with them. So that immediately, I was like, oh my God, yes, this is perfect. I'm absolutely going to draw her, not the other two that I got. Then I, you know, started to play as her and I was like, really loving her ability for her gun. Like, I, I love ranged characters, so it was just, I don't know, she's such a different 
sort of vibe from the other characters that I already have. And uh, I was just really enjoying her. I haven't really leveled her up in comparison to the other characters, but she's definitely on my list for who I want to start leveling up because she was just very fun to me. And then I also put her in my teapot, which means like I got to talk to her. You know, she's like, yes, I patrolled all around, but I also had snacks, so I gotta do that more. <laughs> I was just like, oh, this is like a key part of your character. Like you love like fun food. <laughs> so I'm just like, that's freaking adorable. Like she's so serious, like generally about her job and stuff. But then she's like, oh, I gotta have that, that uh, fair food, which is just so cute to me. And uh, I just love her. <laughs> so I'm like, I guess I'm just really lucky that I got these two um, specifically for this video. Uh, because they were both really fun to draw, and this drawing that I'm doing right now was really fun. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed these two. If you play Genshin, let me know how it went for you uh, trying to pull for any of these characters, because I didn't share it at the start there, but like, I had to pull quite a bit before getting right in. Um, like, there's like a few ten pulls that I just cut out because I didn't want the video to be too long, but one of the ten pulls, like, seriously just didn't have a character in it, and I was like, what? And that was like my first ten pull, too. <laughs> I was like, y you can't do this to me, I have a video I'm making. <laughs> But I know somebody else who got right in on the first pull that they had, so I'm just like, wow, I was super lucky. So <laughs> let me know how you did if you participate. I've still been every other day, like, trying to get Yoimiya as well, but I seriously, like, spent all my Primo gems on trying to get right in, so <laughs> it's, like, not going so well, but, you know, I can only get a five star character so many times, so not mad, but. I do seriously love Yoimiya. I mean, she's one of the characters I drew before ever playing Genshin. So like, I love how she looks, like she's a great character design. Actually, her personality I'm not especially a fan of, but I think she's still cute and fun. And then playing as her in some of the events lately, Yoimiya was just like, seriously so powerful. And I was like, oh my gosh, I really need her because I have, currently I have Kole, the um, Dendro girl as my archer, uh, my main archer. And um, I just could tell that Yoimiya was like so much more powerful. So I'm just like, oh, I need to get Yoimiya someday. And her banner is on now. <laughs> so I really hope that one of these random one wish pulls will randomly get me her, but I seriously doubt it. <laughs> I'd have to be really lucky. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this silly little Genshin video of me drawing whoever I pull, which I ended up changing the rules and saying me drawing two characters that I pulled on the right hand banner that I could have gotten any of the four characters uh, more than likely than anyone else. <laughs> so next time, definitely going to try to pull on the standard banner and then it'll be truly random for you guys. But that might take a while because, you know, I have to build up those wishes. <laughs> I guess it'll depend on how well you guys like this video um, and, you know, your comments and such. Which, by the way, I should also tell you to subscribe because YouTube loves when I tell you to do that. I hope you enjoyed the fan arts. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.